Welcome to Highway Caravan Centre, located approximately 60 kilometres southeast of Melbourne at 1975 Princes Highway, Nanagoon. We're part of the Clough family businesses that have been operating out of this location for over 40 years. Highway Caravan Centre is the number one dealer in southeast Victoria for Vacationer and JB Caravans and offer comprehensive finance rates and great deals on trade-ins. Our specialised, highly trained technicians in our service and spare parts department offer competitive prices on all caravan servicing, spare parts, minor and major repairs, electrical work and even offer great advice for your next escape. With over 40 new and used caravans in stock, be sure to make Highway Caravan Centre the location of your next caravan adventure. Because every journey begins on the highway. G'day guys, welcome to Highway Caravan Centre here in Nanargoon, Victoria. Today's walk around video is through the superb Dreamline luxury version 2020 model JB's new on-road van. So let's have a look through the outside for you before we step in and have a look at the quality uh, for this van. Uh, we've got checker plate on the front, uh, smooth composite as well. Um, even though it's an on-road van, we're still giving you a bit of protection here, which protects you from many major stones that flick up from your vehicle on, during your travels. Now, in terms of connections, we've got a Gray Anderson plug, which is powering our uh, fridge and charging our battery while you're driving. So you'll need one of those on your car. We've also got the reverse camera on this luxury, luxury version of the Dreamline as well. So there's your cable there. And the cable for your car is provided with, in the box with the van. So you can get that prior to handover of your van uh, and get your auto electrician to do everything in one go. Now the Red Anderson plug powers the electronic stability control. So you'll need one of those on your car as well. And that product is for safety, stops your van swaying uh, and operates the brakes to protect you while you're driving as well. All right, so we've got a breakaway system, standard 50 mil ball here, uh, and obviously a handbrake and jockey wheel, two nine kilo gas bottles with a regulator here, so you can switch between which gas bottle you're using. We've got mesh on the A-frame, really handy for storing stuff while you're uh, parked up. All right, we've got a tap and a protector. We're also using a six inch uh, A-frame, which is a part of a GNS chassis, all right? Now you'll notice that the van's got two-tone cladding. Uh, it's available in white and grey as well, uh, and black, so you can option that up. We've got checker plate down the bottom here. We've got a gas and electric hot water vent, TV point for the antenna, your power uh, in, and we've also got our cassette box for a toilet. Now we've got a battery and a 170 watt solar. The battery is a 120 amp, which is located on the chassis here and protected by this checker plate box. And you can upgrade that to with an extra solar panel and an extra battery if you wanted to. All right, just moving around towards the uh, door side of the van. Now you'll notice we've got um, the external lights on under the awning uh, for you at the moment. We can change the color of this. Now this color here is the brand new uh, anti-bug or uh, midge, mozzie, whatever you want to call it. They're the anti-bug lights. So they're going to resist um, those creepy crawlies flying around at nighttime while you're sat outside in the, at night uh, with your awning out. So make it a little bit more comfortable. And we'll just show you how that switches over to the standard LED light position as well. So there's your two options. And that's brand new for the Dreamline for this year. So we've got our tunnel bit. I'm just going to run through the, uh, the weights for you on this van. So if you're a family and you're looking for uh, a new bunk van and you want to know about towing, towing um, weights, the ATM on this van, that's the maximum you can load this van up to, is three ton. So it's quite light. So if you've got a vehicle that is three, three, one, three, two, it's perfect for you. The empty weight is two, three, two, six. So that gives us, if my maths is correct, we've got 674 kilos of payload with a ball weight of 179. So really lightweight van for you. Most vehicles uh, would be able to tow that. So our tunnel bit, tunnel bit runs right the way through. We've got our picnic table here, which obviously just drops down. It's at a really nice workable height as well. So when that comes down here, uh, we're about here. So if you're sitting in a chair, you can just reach around and grab something off that. It's not too high. External speakers, obviously. Again, uh, if you've got a TV that you want to bring outside, you can plug that into the antenna here. We've got our 12 volt power, so if you're free camping, you can use the 12 volt connection that comes with the TV. Plug it into here and away you go. You don't need a 240 point, but obviously you've got one. If you're at a caravan park, use their electricity, you're paying for it. 
Now we've got Euro style double glazed windows, which is pretty standard on uh, most vans. So this is supplied by uh, Dometic. Um, each bunk has its own window to allow a bit of natural light through there as well. Uh, they're very easy to open. They just lock into place into three separate positions. Just coming around the back of the van now on the Lux model, one of, the, one of those inclusions in addition to electronic stability control is our reverse camera. The spare wheel on the back and we've got a two arm bumper. All right, let's move on inside and have a look at the standards in here. Okay, so coming in, one of the things that you recognize in this van is the colored partitions. So what, we, what JB do in the luxury pack, so we've got our reverse camera as a potential upgrade, we've got our ESC, we've got our colored partitions. So here, here at the end of the L-shaped lounge, this partition on the wall as you come in, um, and obviously by the fridge as well. So those color partitions are able to match the color of your cupboards top and bottom and you can change those as well uh, but we can give you a colored partition and it really stands out here so imagine this just being white as standard we can give you that as a uh, as an option as well all right now one of the other things is soft closing drawers and overhead cupboards so if we slam this down here look how easy that closes no rattling around they, they just close really nice and easy and it's easy for you to just push them down and let them close like that all right so often you've got to be really careful with closing it like that with a normal cupboard with the soft closes you just leave it and it handles that for you to make sure they close properly all right in the bedroom uh, we've got a uh, obviously a queen size bed six foot two um, we don't have robe cutouts in this model but so you're not disadvantaged in any way, we've got a dual power point and two USB uh, charging points there as well. Your little bench here, so you can leave your phones on charge uh, or whatever you want to do there with that. Now, I'll show you what this is shortly, but we'll just let, let you have a look at the storage space under the bed. TV, uh, the, the van comes with a uh, 24 inch um, LPT TV, which is a smart TV as well. So you can tune that into your Netflix uh, and Stan and your pay TV subscriptions. All the overhead cupboards obviously got a nice matching Palmer um, fascia across the top there. We've got our hatch here for natural light, which gives us our block out and also our fly screen as well. That opens up in a couple of different settings to give you some nice natural airflow. TV location would be here. The TV would swing around uh, so you can watch it in the dining area or in the bedroom. And of course your, your wine guard aerial. Now just on the right as you walk in the door, you'll see the new BM uh, Pro battery management system. So it's a very simple screen. Literally turns the power on here. As you can see, maybe the lights have gone off. Flick that on, our 12 volt system is now back on. And we're also showing you the battery time remaining and what the levels are in your water tanks as well. Okay, so everything is controlled from here. No more resettable fuse boards. Um, so much, much easier and everything is controlled in one place. Our stereo is nicely positioned out of the way there. Our light switch for outside, as we showed you before, is just here. Um, so it's all nicely located in the one place. All right, now moving over to the lounge. So you may have three kids, uh, you may have two. Obviously the two would be in the bunks. If you had the third, third child here or someone comes along with you on your holiday, uh, all we can do is just bring this table out. We can adjust this table to different ways, get access to cupboards. If you're really small and you can't lean over, for example, bring it out here, get your foot on the pedal, push her down and away she goes. And then you can readjust her to go a little bit closer. You get your cushion and away you go. So we've got that extra bed, or we've even got uh, a bit of a night, a day bed if you want to watch TV, get your feet up, uh, get the family on here. Plenty of space, really comfortable. I can get my arms nicely around here um, and everybody's happy. So let's put this back. See how easy that is. And there you go, there's our table locked in. And you'll notice uh, one of the the, the um, features of, of this actual styling is this timber um, feel laminate, uh, which really contrasts well with the modern finishes of the furniture and the cupboards, and it gives a bit of texture uh, to the surface as well. So something a little bit different, and I think it looks really, really good. 
All right, moving into the kitchen, uh, we've got our full oven as part of the upgrade as well. Again, we talk about that Eco Dreamline, which is the base model, and then we go to the Lux, which is the luxury pack, which includes ESC, reverse camera, soft closers, full oven. We also get the washing machine, and there is one other thing, Ben. What is it? I can't remember. We'll, we'll come, come back to that anyway. Um, so let's have a look, hob, we've got a one electric hob, three gas, our grill and our full oven there. Now the bench doesn't come across that, um, that's a potential upgrade as well if you wanted to run this uh, bench across the top uh, and have that lifting up and lifting down to match the bench top at the same level to give you a bit more working space in the kitchen. We've got a small pantry here which slides out there. We've got your sink, tap. Drinking water tap comes through here. Plenty of storage underneath. We've got one, two, three, four drawers. And again, they're all soft closers as well. So have a look at that, the way they close on their own. So really uh, stylish and much like you can get in a kitchen at home. Large drawer under the end of the L-shaped lounge. Again, we've got dual power points with USBs and 12 volt underneath there. We've got our three-way fridge styled in black which is the medic. We've got an NCE microwave up at the top here. We've got a reverse cycle IBIS for air conditioning, um, which is powered by 240 only. And then moving through into the bedroom and the ensuite. So have a look at the bunks. Quite a lot of clearance here. So for the kids, they can still sit up. Uh, you can option it to a third bunk if you want to. You would lose a little bit of storage at the bottom and then it would split the difference at the top. So you may lose a little bit up here, uh, but we'd add an extra window, of course, uh, and an extra bunk. So if you had those three kids and you wanted to give each one of them a bed and not use the L-shaped lounge, we could do that for you uh, as well. So in the large cupboard here, we've got our washing machine at the bottom, which is a top loader and quite a bit of space in there with a nice little shelf, uh, just utilizing all the space up there. Again, this is one of the coloured partitions that we talked about before. It doesn't have to be. You can have that as white if you want to. Uh, we've got a shower with a nice little shelf in the corner. We've got an extraction fan there and a nice LED light which changes colour as well to a blue. All right, little overhead cupboard for the ensuite. Dual power point, a light switch there. Uh, your vanity, obviously. Cupboard below your toilet we've got a dual towel holder there so if you've obviously got a few kids in you're going to be at the beach you want to got a different towels places to dry them etc a window our extractor fan and our partition as well for the toilet so you'd unclip this pull the partition across it magnetizes to the wall here and then you've got the, obviously that privacy that you would need while you're using the the, the ensuite there so that's the dreamline uh lux it is 2020 model you can choose your colors don't have to have it like this. We think this looks absolutely superb. The quality is second to none. You've got a five-year warranty with the GNS chassis. You've got a three-year warranty with JB. Um, we think it's an amazing value at uh, 62090 around there. Um, come and see us at Highway Caravan Centre. Uh, get yourselves away for, uh, you only have to wait about three months for this van to be built. It's got its own unique line at JB. Um, we can get it much quicker than we can any of the other models. Uh, come and see us at Highway Caravan Centre uh, if you think this is the next van for you.